End the war in Syria! 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 Save Syrian children! Save Syrian children! Save Syrian children! Today, yes, there was a, a rally, um, a New, New York in solidarity with Syrian refugees um, that was called for. Um, on Facebook, I think a few days ago, um, over 4,000 people said they would come, and a few thousand people showed up, um, which gladdens me. Um, uh, it's, 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 it's the minimum, it's the beginning. Um, the demands uh, were twofold. Uh, the first demand, which I was here to support, um, was urging the American government, including President Obama, including both parties and Congress and the rest, um, to end this callous policy that they have towards uh, Syrian refugees, towards refugees more broadly, but specifically Syrian refugees, um, and to actually go ahead and let in a minimum of 65,000 refugees from Syria, which is what the um, uh, International Rescue Committee has called for. Um, and the second demand um, is, is to, to the European governments um, to open the borders and allow the free movement um, of people. There's a very serious crisis in Syria right now, um, and it is the just and right thing to do to uh, help alleviate the suffering of these people. As a Black Lives Matter movement activist, I see the connections between the U.S. wars abroad that drive the devastating economic and political refugee crises. We are witnessing today. And the wars right here at home against black. we should be accommodating, we should maybe take a stance in Syria to avoid the refugee crisis as a whole. Uh, Assad and ISIS are the people who are creating these refugees, so if we can stand against them, we could hopefully lower the number of refugees overall. There's, there's an affinity between its foreign policy and its domestic policy. Um, certain lives are deemed more expendable. Um, in this country, right? And it's poor lives, and it's brown lives, and it's black lives. Um, so bearing that in mind, and what we know is happening domestically in this country uh, to those people, it, it comes as, in a sense, as no surprise um, that that the U.S. policy towards um, towards those bodies, towards brown and poor bodies elsewhere, should be so callous. Um, so I think that's a connection. Uh, but I think something that I draw more hope from is that uh, there clearly are people who oppose this sort of callous policy both inside the United States and outside. And what we saw in Union Square today uh, was one expression of that opposition. So hopefully um, these voices will grow louder and will be able to uh, make the government here not be able to ignore demands.